We've moved from a wider, a much slower data cycle. It was six weeks when he first started, and now we're actually within the class period. So the goal now is that we know what our students are going to do on their interim assessments before they get to them. Um, and the way we started to do that is every day the students have a do now and exit ticket, which is very data driven. The teachers actually adjust the lesson based on what the students do on their do now as soon as they get into class. Then when students are working independently, teachers are using a strategy called aggressive monitoring. So they're scanning the room, so looking at every student's work and figuring out a micro adjustment that they either need to pull a small group in the moment or adjust the instruction for the whole class in the moment. So we've gone from thinking about a six week cycle to thinking about the exit ticket is too late. We need to adjust instruction during the class in the moment so that the kids then can master the exit ticket rather than it being a much longer um, time between us noticing the data and adjusting for that data. We actually see our teachers actually monitoring and it's not just walking around, they're actually looking for something in particular. Because a lot of teachers do monitor, so they walk around, you know, just to make sure kids are on task, but now we're, they're walking around with a purpose. So now they know exactly what it is they're looking for so they can address that misconception in the moment. So generally, there are students who miss the review question and they need an adjustment. Sometimes it's half the class, in which case we need to stop. We're not ready. Um, less frequently, although it does happen, especially in our higher level classes, we adjust the class because of the diagnostic question. So there's two questions. There's the review question and the diagnostic, which is, do you already know our lesson for today? And if the kids do already know the lesson for today, then they have an alternate assignment. Sometimes they're doing something completely different. Sometimes they're going straight to the independent work and they don't need the teacher mini lesson. And so those students can go ahead and do that. I think the reason this is a great strategy is because, again, we're addressing the problems right then, in the moment. We're not waiting until the exit ticket. We're waiting, we're addressing it right then so that um, all scholars are successful when it's time for them to take the exit ticket. And due to the fact that we're on the A day, B day schedule for science, my teachers don't see the kids every, every, every day. So that means if I know that you um, have a misconception on Monday, I won't be able to see you until Wednesday, so I want to address that before you leave my classroom because I know I won't see you the next day, I will only see you on Wednesday. So it allows us to address the issue in the moment and use that data to help support our scholars.